Good morning, beautiful souls. This is Isis. Today we will be discussing four portions of the soul contract. Number one, be impeccable with your word. What does that mean to you? First and foremost, this is the most important portion of the soul contract. As in your contract, you have been informed by the source energy that what you emit is what you shall receive. Thus, what you love is what the universe will offer to you. Now, you will say, oh, but I do not love the negative events taking place in my life, poverty, need, want, desire. There is the issue. We shall not have need, want, or desire, but rather embrace what you love. If you continuously think and dwell and communicate and talk about that which you do not wish or will, that is what you shall receive because the universe views that as an emission from the chakras which are the vibrational frequencies of your 3D construct body that you enjoy or love these events which you communicate about and actually do not desire. So you are best to say, I am grateful for all the universe has to offer me. I am grateful for all that I have I am grateful for my prosperity and I bless the money I have in abundance. This will gain you what you wish for by using an impeccable word. Contract portion number two. Don't take anything personal. So when you see events which occur or hear things which you do not appreciate, always be go back to number one be impeccable with your word say i am grateful and i am so pleased with and whatever it is and show your gratitude gratitude is key in order to achieve and attain that which you love do not take anything personal remember this part i'm just repeating myself but whatever events are being taken and done around you let it go so in order to let it go you say that's wonderful i am so grateful that this is the event which will take place and reword it for your own self uh, don't make assumptions so let's say for example a significant other or somebody whom you desire has stopped communication with you for whatever purpose, do not make assumption that this means they are disinterested. It may mean they have other business and you must, by your impeccable word, make the positive assumption rather than the negative assumption. And always do your best. So be that whom you wish to be. Or as Rumi said, be the change you want to see. So. In order to connect with your higher self, you want to perform your quantum hypnotic hypnosis therapy. But I'm going to tell you, be prepared for a five to six hour session with the therapist. If you wish to do it on your own because you do not want to spend the money that it takes and you don't want to spend the time, that comes down to two things. Number one, do a daily meditation feel yourself in your body feel the distance between you and an inanimate object and just be in the moment do not think about the past or the future just be in the present and in order to be in the present you will want to continue to visualize or feel the distance between you and let's say a table are you and a candle flame just feel the distance and focus on distance between your body and whatever the inanimate object is in order to 
be present. Therefore, you have no other mind construct. Number two, in your water, you want to say, I am open and receptive to all my higher self has to offer me of knowledge. And I emit love, wisdom, peace. And then you would want to drink the water and that will assist you in your dream world to get in connection with your higher self. And it's very important that you would feel the emotion of love before you drink that water. So think of something that you love the most, someone you love the most, and put that emotion out as though you're giving them a hug and then you would drink the water at this point. And I hope this will assist all of you with your connections. Have a beautiful day.